connected. Recording. Welcome, welcome. Oh man, on my way home from work. 53 degrees today, so it's not as warm, but it's not bad at all, really. Warm days ahead. Good times have come our way. So, I adjusted my camera so it should be up a little higher now because somebody said it needs to be, and they was absolutely right, it did. And worked on the audio, we'll see how the audio is. So, I'm going to fine tune it till it's the best I can get anyway. But I don't know until I go home and uh, see what the video sounds, the audio on this video sounds like, and see what the video looks like. So, down here in Cassville, Missouri. But I did want to ask a question to everybody. If you're an owner of a CRF250L for number one, and number two if you're actually an owner of a dual sport, if you're happy with it, uh, I hope you're as happy as I am. I know because ever since I've had the CRF250L, I first bought one, it was a 2014. And when I bought it, I'm kind of like a lot of you new guys, I would look on YouTube for videos about the CRF250L and then I I got to thinking, you know what, I can make those videos like everybody else that's making them. So I just started making them and it just grew and grew and grew from there until I'm over 11,000 subscribers, somewhere up there. But as far as the bike, you know, I had the 2014. I, uh, I had it for probably three years. Now I'm just guessing, I'm horrible at guessing, remembering. But, um, and then I got the Africa Twin, thinking that when the Africa Twin come out, I thought, man, that thing's gotta be awesome. A thousand CC dual sport, you know, and and no doubt about it, I, I got rid of the 250L, I bought the Africa Twin, and the Africa Twin was a great bike. It was an awesome bike. It just wasn't me, you know. It, it wasn't what I expected. It wasn't a 1,000cc dual sport. I don't care what they say. It may be the most dual sport capable of any of the adventure bikes, but it's still a big, heavy uh, adventure bike. It's not a dual sport bike. You take it in the woods, and I'm not saying you can't, but it's just not as good. The 250L is just so fun. So I hope that all the people that I inspired because I've got bunches, countless people that said, hey, I bought a CRF 250L because of watching your videos. And that makes me happy that people, you know, think about it and they trust my opinion on the bike and because it is a great bike. I'm not saying there ain't some bikes that are better, but I mean, better at certain things, but you won't get a better bike than a Honda CRF250L. It's super dependable, runs good. It's not a jumping bike, it's not a motocross bike, but it does okay in the woods. It does okay, you know, on the highway. It's not great at either one of them, but it is what it is. So I just hope that you all are happy with it, as happy as I am with mine, because I just love this bike. I, I missed it so bad when I had the Africa Twin that I finally got up the nerve. I thought, I'm, you know what? I'm going back to the CRF 250L. I love that bike. I, and the day I got the new CRF 250L, I was like a kid. It was like better than the first one I got because I was so happy to be back on it. It felt so good to be back on the CRF 250L after riding a big Africa Twin. And ever since then, I've not even, I don't want nothing else. I plan on never buying another motorcycle. Now, we'll see what the future holds, but I really don't. I'm so happy with this. I would say this is my last motorcycle. And I don't see no need in getting the 450L. I mean, I'm just, I don't need it. I'm not a racer. I don't want it. I don't need to go any faster than this thing will take me. It gets great mileage. It's more dependable than the 450L anyway, so why do I need it? So, what do you guys think? Now I can go back to talking because I've slowed down again up on the highway. It gets so much wind and I'm back in the town of Exeter now. It's only about three miles from Cassville and then I'll go the back roads home from here. But anyway, the question was, are you happy with your CRF 250L? Are you happy with your dual sport? Uh, I have a lot of people that comment great things about the 250L. I have a lot of people that bash the 250L. Most of them don't know what they're talking about. I mean, 
yeah, if you might be able to buy a bike that costs twice as much and it has more off-road capability and of course it should and you might be able to buy a uh, 450L and it's going to go a lot faster. Of course it should. You know, it costs three times as much as this. Well, not quite, but getting close. Over twice as much as a 250L. But you don't need it. I mean, to go out and enjoy back roading and off roading, fire trails, uh, even wood trails in the woods, trails in the desert, wherever you live in the mountains, these bikes do a great job. They're not a beast, but stock bike, I can take it and pretty much go anywhere. I've been all over the play, all over the country with this thing, and or not this one, actually more with the old one than this one, but um, it's some pretty bad stuff, and it performs no problem, but it's just like buying a new motocross bike. You know, they, they say that it's 90% rider and 10% bike, and that's about the truth. All the bikes are good. The rider is what makes the difference. And I've had several people say that, oh, the Yamaha YZF, it will smoke the 250L, it's way better for off-road and all this. And hey, it may be, but all the people that's had them and all the people that's had the KTMs and I uh, invite them, you know, come on down, let's ride. And so we can prove it, but they never have, not a one, never have, you know, because, and I'm an old fat man now. You know, I'm not a young dude anymore, but I'm up for a challenge if somebody wants to come on down and go down Rock Creek and let's just see if they are that much better. If they'll go where this one won't. So anyway, just wanted to ask you guys that question. If you're happy with it, I hope you are. I hope that uh, if I've swayed your choice on what bike to get, and I've never said that you should get a 100% get a 250L. You should get what makes you happy. I just tell you my opinion of me with the 250L. And a lot of people went with it and bought the bike. And I think they're super happy. So let's just see everybody's comments and what everybody has to say. Let's get a big thing going. But don't forget, everybody, click that thumbs up. Before you leave this video, you can still be playing it. Reach down there and click that thumbs up. And let's get a lot of them. Subscribe to my channel if you're not. And I am going to go home and take my truck to have the oil change on. It's got 10,000 miles on the Gladiator, man. That sucker's getting wore out. It's crazy how the miles add up. So thank you all for watching. Right on.